Hello everyone, good morning. Welcome to new demo monitor and analyze Azure resources with Azure monitor and log analytics Which is real-time example with few use cases Ensuring your application workloads and data are secure is essential But it is not enough monitoring play an important role for any infrastructure for infrastructure as a service workloads Azure monitoring play a very important role and this requires almost similar effort what you need to monitor your on-premises infrastructure we need continuous monitoring and analyzing to ensure performance and stability are not negatively impacted by poor network connection or server issues so there are three important criteria you should keep in your mind while understanding the need of monitoring the azure infrastructure getting insight into the health of your vm correlating and mapping vm dependency monitoring and troubleshooting applications capabilities or components which can use for monitoring of the azure resources number one azure monitor number two azure log analytics azure application insight and service map let's talk about what is azure monitor azure monitor collects host level metrics like cpu disk and network usage for all virtual machines without the need to install or configure any additional agent with azure monitor you can visualize query route archive and take action on the matrix and logs coming from resources in azure for more insight into a virtual machine you can collect guest level matrix logs and other diagnostic data using the azure diagnostic agent you can also send diagnostic data to other services like application insight so there's a one use case we need to know whether any DDoS attack recently happened in a public IP or not. Second use case is we will check what the incoming bandwidth in a VM network is. So let's talk about couple of uh, demo for the performance and log analytics. So I'm going to log in with my Azure subscription. I have couple of resource groups available. So one of the resource group is rg1-solution and I have my one of the VM running srv1-app1. I'm going to create the log analytics service, which is a new service. So, so log analytics, it create a new workspace. New workspace can integrate with your operation manager, collect all the logs. So create this log analytics log analytics workspace name say corp log analytics existing resource group rj1 solution and right now this new feature is available on specific region as only which is including east us and couple of other regions so and the pricing tier will be per gb pricing tier so I'm creating this log analytics workspace it take a couple of minutes to to create this log analytics deployment succeeded so I'll click on my resource group and click on my resource group one and click on cop log analytics so this is a new look and feel uh, for the service and when I scroll down there's an option called overview activity logs so whatever the activity we are going to perform it comes under this overall activity logs for this log analytics service for a configuration point of view first I'll click on the virtual machine so so there's a workspace data source where I can monitor virtual machines storage account logs azure activity log and couple of azure resources from a resource group point of view so virtual machines so i have srv1 app 1 which i am going to connect under this workspace name work log corp log analytics so backend they are going to install that agent so let me log in with this vm which is our my Azure VM and 
and under control panel under programs and features right now there's a no program install we'll see this in a couple of minutes so this is connecting so after five minutes we'll see uh, whether that agent is installed and overall what is the status of that workspace so right now I have another workspace which is which is which is uh, already connected with one VM called VM1 so that's the first part if you need to manage a storage locks so you can add a storage locks and add a storage account there as well that's the first part in terms of alerts so I want to pull a alert say if any CPU increase hike comes up to 50% please send me an email like so cop log analytics condition condition is so select all the logs these are the overall logs available to monitor so I think we need to wait for that deployment first so SRV1 app 1 workspace status is green so if I see my Azure VM now and try to refresh programs and features and see Microsoft monitoring agent is automatically installed size is 204 MB and the recent date and version so this monitoring tool help us to integrate with log analytics and pull out all the logs based on our configuration requirement. So that's first part that my virtual machine is, is ready to uh, ready with uh, log analytics part. So let's I'll go with that uh, alerts. So I'll create a new alert rule now. So corp log analytics visual studio enterprise edition and resource group and select a specific subscription and specific resource group and in my case I am a part of RG1 Corp Blog Analytics and change this so under this if I search with pro processor time and then we can select the value specific value so greater than average one person right now Typically processor value monitoring should be above 55% and above so right now to get a quick alert I'm making a percentage value one So one over the last five minutes frequency every one minute. So if percentage CPU value is above one percent This is a condition and action groups action group means the action means either SMS either email so action group is for notification action one email notification to specific email address and I'm not doing SMS kind of thing right now <coughs> so action or update action group is created with the name notification and CPU hike 
above one person right now as an example Civility level 3 and create a rule. It takes 10 minutes to create this rule. And meanwhile, when I go to my Azure VM and open the performance monitor, so definitely it will be basic running CPU. It should be above one or two. So down the line, my Outlook is, is ready to accept so I'll get an email you are now into the notification action group and very soon we should get some alert mail based on the notification or based on the rule we created so that's the alerts part and now you know workspace data sources where we have the virtual machine is monitored and and then overall if I go to the workspace summary, because initially we started this log analytics service, so it takes some hours to, to give a good clean picture view. So I'll, I'll reduce this to 30 minutes. And very soon we'll get a graphs, logs and everything. So meanwhile, I'll go to the log analytics under the workspace summary under the locks option and try to pull some quick recent logs related to heartbeat performance and usage so if you say heartbeat so there are a couple of uh, queries already there in built query last heartbeat for each computer something so you can run that query and we'll get get that data immediately see srv1 app 1 if i expand what time my data is is there and my time is there so so recently what time this heartbeat is contacted what is ip and typically i am using the same ip 39.186 so this kind of things you can you can get that alert immediately logs kind of thing and if I go to logs once again, log analytics under logs, so this is one type, same way you can pull out that performance kind of thing information and and run the query. You can type your own query as well. So list of all con collected performance counters from the last 30 minutes. And whatever the objects which are running under this analytics, they will pull some details because recently we added to so that's why it's not pull out any details right now. So this is called logs. Come back to the solution. So solution solutions means take example I want to check whether anti malware solution is is configured in the VM or not. So this kind of solution will pull out will check the email uh, check the VM status and check whether that anti malware status is installed or not. That's some kind of solution which they can monitor. So if I go to my advanced settings. Under the advanced setting, you have connected sources, Windows servers, and 64-bit agent and 32-bit agent. This is for on-premises. If you want to integrate any on-premises machine with this log analytics service, you have to download the 64-bit agent. And once you try to install that agent, it asks me workspace ID and the primary key. If primary key is not working, you can use the secondary key and you can regenerate the primary key for the for the recovery purpose in case the primary key get corrupt this is a way which you have to do it to integrate any on-premises server integrated with log analytics service same thing you can integrate with a system center operation manager as well 
so I have explained almost all the options pricing tier also I explained and overall alerts I have explained so we'll wait for a few minutes now to to get that email alert to my Outlook email address and couple of minutes later on I got couple of emails and that is for the same SRV one app one triggered CPU hike and this way if you go to the workspace summary you get to know the entire details from last 30 minutes so that's uh, go to the log side uh, the and workspace summary you will get entire details what you require now so i hope you enjoy this session and let me recap this so corp log analytics is a service which you integrate in azure and with this you have to create a workspace under the workspace you have to connect the virtual machine you have a capability to connect to the storage account you can build you can connect your all azure activity logs which is not connected right now and you can connect your azure subscription as well this way all the azure related activity logs also comes under this log analytics and finally you can get alerts whatever the alerts which you want to pop up based on your rules and finally you can save the logs under the csv format and and keep the records thank you very much for joining this session